FAA is now deciding whether to extend a 24-hour ban on U.S. flights into and out of Israel after a rocket attack dangerously close to Tel Aviv's Ben Gurion Airport. Despite the ban, former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg made his way to Israel on El Al last night. This morning, he met with Prime Minister Netanyahu. CBS 2's Don Daler has more on diplomatic efforts to end the violence and the toll it's taken on civilians. <laughs> Passengers in Tel Aviv's airport scrambled for shelter yesterday when Hamas launched three rockets in their direction. Two rockets were reportedly intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome defense system. But one of the rockets destroyed this house less than a mile from the airport. No one was injured. The homeowner had left for work five minutes early. If the 2,000 or so rockets fired out of Gaza were more accurate or not knocked down by Israel's air defense system, this would be a much more common sight. This was the worst direct hit on an Israeli home. Its proximity to the airport sent a shudder through the international aviation community, still stunned by the shooting down of Malaysian Flight 17 over Ukraine. The Hamas rocket strike prompted a wide-scale cancellation of flights. In Gaza, the third war there in just over five years has taken the lives of at least 600 Palestinians, most of them civilians. The Israeli Defense Force is focused on eliminating Hamas rocket launch sites and tunnels. Two Israeli civilians and 29 Israeli soldiers have died in this most recent conflict. Israel is unlikely to stop its campaign in Gaza until it feels security has been established. Don Daler for CBS2 News. While Israel is looking to curb the military capabilities of Hamas, Hamas is demanding an end to the Israeli and Egyptian blockade on Gaza.